Hi everyone and thanks for coming back to the channel. So if you're new to the channel then a big thanks for checking in and I hope you enjoy the video. So tonight I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. The moon is 95% tonight and normally the moon is the astrophotographer's enemy. However tonight I'm glad the moon is there because I plan to photograph it. Now I'm going to be doing something that I haven't done before and that is using the video function on the ASIA Plus. I've owned the ASIA Plus for over a year and I've not even looked at it but tonight I'm going to rectify that and hopefully photograph the moon using the video function. So let's get into it. So firstly I'm already in the ASIA settings, I'm going to go to the camera and I'm going to select Andy Do. Now not all cameras have got the Andy Do but I'm using the 2600 I'm in Pro and that has got the anti-do feature, so I've switched that on. Um, the other important thing to do is turn the mount tracking on and then make sure you change the tracking rate to lunar because obviously I'm photographing the moon. So that's changed to lunar and uh, now all I have to do is come out of preview and go into the video mode and we won't see anything yet because I haven't opened the roof. So I will open the roof and slew around to the target and then hopefully you'll actually see the moon. Right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to Vega to focus the scope is Vega. Right, I slew the Vega and get focused and then I'll slew around to the moon. Hopefully we have found Vega and then I can get focused. Right, we're target is centered and uh, we're now gonna take an image. Right, and that's looking pretty good actually. But while we're here, I'm actually gonna take advantage of that and plate solve and sink the mount. So now the Mount know exactly where it is. Um, I'm going to run an autofocus routine on it anyway, even though it did look pretty good. But that way I'll guarantee that it's nicely in focus. Right, so I've uh, slewed to Vega and focused, and I've slewed around to the moon. So, and now up here where it says preview, tap on that, and then select the video mode. Right, as you can see, way zoomed in. Uh, the camera I'm using is really not a planetary camera. It's the 2600mm Pro. And uh, what you can do, you can change the um, resolution here to 1080p. That'll bring it down a little. There, that's a little bit better. I'm still gonna have to photograph the moon now in about four different sections in order to get it all in the frame and then I shall stitch them all together in some software later. So um, anyway, tick on this uh, little arrow there and this way you got your settings. I'm set to game 100 and the exposure is set to two milliseconds. So if we change that, you'll see how it changes it. So that's blown out completely on three milliseconds. And that is because there's a 99% moon, so it's really bright, but one millisecond is probably a little bit too dark so two yeah the highlights are not too bad i want to stick with that so what i want to do now is i'm going to take a one minute video so all i have to do is tap the start button and start capturing one minute video you can see down the bottom left there it's got a counter and i should just stop it when it's at one minute then I shall reposition the moon in the frame and take another one minute video. Oh, and the only reason I'm having to shoot this six times is because my camera and scope combination doesn't allow for me to fit the whole of the moon in one image. So if I was using my Ascar 400 for example, I would get the whole of the moon in one go and I, I would only have to take the one video. So obviously a, a lot less work. But anyway, this is... Um, a little bit of an experiment for me anyway to do a six panel mosaic and stitch all together and uh, be good to see how it comes out. Right, so that's coming up for one minute. One minute now, so I shall stop that. And now the fun part is trying to reposition the moon in the frame. Um, I can never remember which way to 
press the arrows, that's trial and error really. Let's see what happens if I press the up arrow. Yep, the wrong way of course. Let's go the other way. Somewhere there. Right, so let's try that there, here we go. Taking another one minute video. Then we have to go into the stack and section and stack all the videos, which I'll show you how to do that. And I will have to stitch these all together in a software that I've come across. Uh, it's a free software, it's called PhotoPad uh, on the PC, and uh, I'll show you how to use that. What we do here is we go into the storage section here and where it says lunar surfaces. And these are the videos that I've recorded so I want the last six videos. You tap on one of those videos and it says next. Right, so set alignment. I'm not gonna bother about that because I'm gonna align them all anyway in the uh, stitching software that I'm gonna use. Right, so here you just hit stack. This will take a little while and uh, you have to do this to each of those six videos. Right, so that's number two, just about stacked. And I won't bore you with the other four. I'll skip that part and uh, we'll move on to the next section. So once all the stacking is complete, you can go into the uh, image management to have a quick look at it. Right, here you'll see you've got where it says video. That's all the videos you've taken. You can have a quick look at those. And if we go back one, gone back too far. Um, where we get to image management, that's it. Right, so we've had a look at the videos. You can then go into stacked. It says planetary, you can see the ones that have been stacked. And this is a stacked single image of the video. And then you take these stacked final images onto the PC and you can work on them there. And I should be stitching them all together. Then I'll probably take the final stitched image into Photoshop for a little tweak or two. So, right, that's all complete. Um, so that's all done out here in the observatory now. We can now send the scope back to the home position and shut the roof. So here we are on the PC, and I'm now going to open up the software. It is called PhotoPad, and if I click on Panorama, then open up my file where my stacked images are. Select all six of those, and drag them into that window there. Close that. All I have to do now is just go OK. And that will now stitch all those six images together and hopefully turn out one nice image of the moon. Of course, if you've got a scope set up where you've got a much wider field than what I had, you could shoot the moon all in one go. And you wouldn't have had to do a mosaic to fit it all in the frame. So, so this is just a little bit of extra work for me. But it is easy. I mean, there's nothing to it. You, you literally drag and drop your images into the window, click OK, and it does it all for you. Right, there's the moon, and it's looking rather nice. So, if I click on Save, it will ask me to purchase the program, and I will say I will purchase it later, because I probably will purchase it later. I think it's worth the money, it's only £39, and um, I think it does a really good job. So I'm going to save in this file here and I'm going to change it to JPEG save right so that's now saved so I can now come out of this 
and then go into Photoshop and then I can basically do some minor tweaks to that and uh, present you with the final image. Here we go, open and there's the moon. So now we're in here, we can go to Camera Raw and we can make a few little adjustments. We can alter the contrast. That's pretty nice. We can do a little bit of uh, noise reduction, although it's quite sharp anyway. Do a little bit more sharpening if you want. Play around with it a little. I think that looks rather nice. Anyway, for a first attempt, I'm quite pleased with that. So the ASIA video feature, I think, is pretty good. I've not used that before, but I'll definitely be using that again. And uh, it seems to stack it quite well. And this free software I've just used has stitched it very well. I quite like that. For my very first moon image, I'm quite pleased with that. So I hope you found the video useful. And um, I do hope you like the image which I will display at the end of this video and um, give it a go if you haven't tried the ASIA video feature before and let me know what you think in the comments. So big thanks to all of my subscribers. If you like this kind of thing and you'd like to see more, then please consider hitting that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up and tick the little bell so you don't miss any future uploads. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. So thanks again and I wish you all clear skies. Thank you.